Hi, Mark Gordon on Thursday, March the 15th, 2012, with a gold, silver, and spider report. This is the GLD, the gold ETF, up about 1% today, getting a bounce up off of this lower trend line that I drew. Um, you'll notice, though, that it came on just average volume here. Uh, on update, you'd like to see a, a pickup in volume. Uh, it would have been good if we had it more than, uh, than yesterday's drop. That was very heavy volume the last couple of trading sessions here. Uh, today's uh, volume is not convincing. Um, if we get a follow through day, I'd like to see that on a pickup in volume. Our next point of overhead resistance, in other words, our next target to the upside will be this black dotted line, which is the 200 day moving average, which is currently at 163.24. 163.24. It's rising slightly. Um, uh, and then after that, your next point of overhead resistance will be this overhead trend line here which will take us up in about the 163.50 uh, level. Um, so gold uh, in a downtrend uh, following this channel down until we see otherwise. Love to see a break above this upper channel line. That'll put us back into an uptrend, especially if we take out this previous break high at about 166.50. 166.50 would be great. That would get us back up over these key moving averages the blue line, of course, is the 50-day, the green dotted line, the 100-day, and, of course, the 200-day. So that would be great. Uh, we did get across of the blue line, the 50-day, above the 100-day. That is bullish. So all of the moving averages are in bullish alignment right now, uh, even though the 21-day, this red line, is starting to point down. So uh, uh, we might get a turnaround here. We'll have to see. Uh, looking at some of the uh, indicators here, this is the MACD. That is currently in a downtrend. Both the slower and the faster uh, moving average lines are pointed to the downside. Uh, this right here is your relative strength line. Uh, in other words, the strength as measured against the S&P 500 stock index, and that is trending lower. Uh, the green line here is on balance volume. When you take all the up volume, uh, and, and subtract the down volume from it, you get this line here. It is pointed down too. Stochastics are looking bad too, although they are in the oversold area. Uh, you tend to get uh, a reversal when uh, uh, this line gets down here. You can look back here at the beginning of 2012. We were down underneath this 20 marker here and got a nice rally back up. So um, oversold right now um, on the GLD. And looking now at a weekly chart of the GLD, down about 3.2% on the week. Uh, you can see this uh, downtrend. Bottom line is is that gold is selling off right now. This is, uh, in my opinion, no time to be taking out new long positions uh, in gold in the GLD. Um, Let's wait for uh, some kind of a turnaround, uh, either uh, uh, getting uh, some closes above these key moving averages or a break of this upper trend line. And I don't like to fight the tide of the markets. If the general tide is going in, in a certain direction, I don't fight it. I just, I just either stand the sidelines or, um, you know, and just wait it out for a better opportunity. Or you could actually go short um, uh, on, on gold. I'm not a big fan of that, but uh, you can do it if you want. And looking at uh, silver now, this is the SLV, the silver ETF, and uh, up about uh, uh, nine tenths of a percent today. Um, getting a, a, a close right here on the 100 day moving average, this green dotted line. So nice move there. Came on light volume though, uh, and substantially less than the last couple of days uh, during the sell off. So again, unconvincing volume on the up move. Uh, perhaps uh, traders are a little bit shell shocked after uh, this uh, heavy selling the last three sessions. Um, hopefully we get some volume uh, confirmation tomorrow, uh, getting us up above this 50-day moving average. The blue line would be certainly a great, uh, a great thing. That currently is at uh, 31.97. Uh, and then we have this overhead uh, trend line also love to get over. And certainly by taking out 33.44, we are back in a solid uptrend. But until then, silver in a downtrend on the daily chart. Looking at a weekly chart of the SLV, uh, down about 5.1% uh, on the week. Uh, you can see this uh, uh, lower trend line that I drew here. Um, so uh, silver in a downtrend here. Uh, um, you can see us sitting right here on this green dotted line, which is the 20-week moving average. And uh, you can see here that the 10-week moving average has crossed over the 20-week moving average last month, uh, which is uh, nice. We are still down below 
the 40 week moving average though love to see a, a couple of closes up above that uh, and hold um, this could be looked at as a cup with a handle formation here coming on light weekly volume so far this week so um, uh, looking good uh, for silver uh, uh, to hold in this area lots of key support down here let's hope it holds and looking now to stocks this is the SPY the S&P 500 ETF up about uh, uh, six tenths of a percent today to a new recent high uh, nice move uh, we have been riding up this gray line the 10-week moving average uh, ever since uh, uh, even before the new year began uh, we had a bit of a uh, pullback here uh, down to the lower Bollinger Band uh, this gray area here are the Bollinger Bands they are designed to keep prices within them 95 percent of the time a lot of traders look at that obviously getting a bounce up off of that lower trend line a uh, little, little breather was needed a uh, nice big massive run here and uh, uh, came back uh, put a little handle in here for a day or two and then boom right back up to new highs uh, and uh, volume was uh, just about average today had a good uh, uh, big uh, volume day here uh, uh, three sessions ago and uh, um, stocks still looking strong uh, they can keep running I mean it's it's amazing once these rallies get going they can just seem to go on and on and on and then again they can correct uh, overnight too so we just don't know bullish configuration on all the moving averages you have the 200 below the 100 uh, and the 100 below the 50 and the 21 day below the 50 I'm sorry above the 50 and the 10 day moving average above the 21 day so nice uh, stacking bullish stacking of the moving averages uh, scrolling down here to the MACD uh, we have another cross to the upside of the MACD the the faster moving black line has crossed back above the slower moving blue line a good sign there uh, we have very nice relative strength here and we also have uh, a balance volume is hitting new highs as well we are overbought in the stochastics though uh, if stoch the stochastics uh, stay above 80 for three days in a row uh, or more it's said to be locked in that means it can run and you see that we've had some locked in situations on the S&P 500 and it has run so uh, just the fact that it is in oversold territory uh, is not such a bad thing as long as it stays there if you do get a break of, um, uh, below 80 uh, the market tends to sell off fairly quickly uh, like it did uh, uh, when it corrected back down to that lower Bollinger Band so stocks are looking good uh, compared to silver and gold they're looking great uh, silver and gold going uh, in a downtrend and uh, stocks moving in an uptrend moving on now to a weekly chart of the SPY up 2.3 percent this week uh, new high a very nice move after this correction almost down to the 10 week moving average not quite and you can see this bullish configuration of the moving averages all pointed up to the sky so it is full steam ahead uh, we are uh, getting up near the upper end of this Bollinger Band here and uh, you tend to get pullbacks uh, 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 it, when it gets up too high uh, we are g uh, getting a little too much momentum here um, but they can ride that upper Bollinger Band uh, uh, for quite a while but uh, any kind of pullbacks are, seem to be getting uh, support down here near this blue line which is currently at 135 135 and uh, we notice here that uh, the uh, uh, MACD is all pointed up uh, stochastics locked in all year long locked in and we have on balance volume also pointed up uh, so everything looking good on stocks uh, too good to be true I don't know you know uh, logic would say that but sometimes these babies run for quite some time we just don't know but the lesson that I've learned over the years is you gotta make hay while the sun is shining uh, the time is right to be long stocks uh, be very careful in your selections and in your timing you want to get stocks breaking out of sound bases on good volume and uh, not chasing stocks at this point there's a lot of temptation to go after stocks that already had big runs like Apple but you gotta wait for corrections and proper bases to set up so that's it